Now that I have the Super 7 party wagon in hand, it's time to settle the debate once and for all. What's the best turtle van? Keep watching to find out on this episode of Geek Dad Life. This has been a few years in the making when three toy companies decided to make large-scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vans. One of them being a third-party release and the other two being made by NECA and Super 7. Now, I've already done a video comparing the UA van, that's the third-party van, to the NECA van, where the UA van surprisingly slightly edged out the NECA one, in my opinion. But that video was still missing one key component, and that is this van by Super 7. Now, while I've had my issues with the Super 7 Turtle line over the years, it is still my preferred toy line because it focuses more on the Playmates vintage toy style. And because of that, I knew I had to at least pick up their version of the party wagon because much like their toy line, it takes a lot of its design cues from the original Playmates party wagon. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this would end up being my favorite party wagon. To be honest, I thought the NECA one would have mopped the floor with the Underground Arsenal one, and I prefer the Underground Arsenal one to the NECA one. So anyone could win this showdown because now that I have them all in hand, they're all really good party wagons or turtle vans or whatever you want to call them. So really, it's going to come down to the wire to see which one is best. Now, if you remember from my previous turtle van showdown, I used seven categories to track which van would be best and that is cost the box art and the box in general the sculpt of the van the paint applications on the van the articulation which in the case of the vans is all the moving parts uh, we also have accessories and the fun factor i did a live unboxing with this turtle wagon on my gdl2 page definitely check it out if you haven't done that yet but it was a great unboxing experience and overall i'm really impressed with this party wagon but now it's time to see how it stacks up to the other vans we've gotten so far with our very strenuous very high level scientific seven category breakdown all right the first category is cost and it's hard to give it to anything other than under underground arsenal in this scenario it was the cheapest out of the three to buy originally and on the secondary market it is still the cheapest out of the three while the super 7 van probably has the lowest print run out of any of the vans it was also the most expensive in most cases by double compared to the original retail price of the other vans so sorry super 7 you're not going to win this battle the win still goes to the underground arsenal van next up is box art again underground arsenal didn't even have any box art it was an unlicensed third party party turtle van. So this is truly a showdown between the NECA van and the Super 7 van. And I gotta be completely honest, I love the NECA box art. I think it is absolutely fantastic. It captures the energy of the turtle van as well as the animated toon characters that that van represents. And it just pops on a shelf. Now, the Super 7 art, I think is actually really good as well. But where I would probably fault it compared to the NECA van is in how much they tried to capture on the Super 7 art. If you actually factor in the van to the entire space of the box, it actually doesn't take up as much space as I would think a party wagon would on the box art. I don't know if I'm just being silly or really nitpicky about this, but I'm trying to decide between the two. And while it is a nice looking piece of art, it just doesn't pop or capture my imagination the same way that the original Playmates party wagon art did, where that van was full front and center, nearly taking up the entire box and it really just captured your imagination. And I think the thoughts across the board for the NECA van have been really, really positive. So I gotta give the win to the NECA van. Next up is Sculpt, and I gave this win to the Underground Arsenal one last time, mainly because I feel like it captured the look of the van that I would prefer. And when I look at the new Super 7 van, it is absolutely exactly the type of turtle van that I want on my toy shelf. It shouldn't come as any surprise as I prefer the more Playmates vintage toy style look, and this thing captures it really well. I gotta be completely honest on some of the original renders and, and designs when we first saw that van, I thought it looked a little too goofy. But now that I have it in hand, I don't think it's goofy at all. I do think it's a great modern imagining of that vintage van that we got in a large seven inch scale form. And it really does capture all the magic of the original party wagon with fun new features like giving us an actual cover for the rear engine, which was just a sticker on the original one. We got windows that open up for the front windows of the van, which is great. We also got a lot more detail on the inside of the van than last time. So really, I, I absolutely love the sculpting that they did for this van. And for me personally, I think the sculpting category easily goes to the Super 7 party wagon. 
All right, the next category is paint and UA is still out on this one. There's not really any paint on that van. So this is between NECA and Super 7. And while I think Super 7 did a commendable job with the paint on their party wagon, the paint applications are a lot more strategic on the NECA van and it really makes it pop in a nice way. From the outside of the van to the inside of the van, there's a lot of great paint detail throughout. While my original comparison video, I thought NECA could have went farther, I still think it looked really, really good. While I think the paint on the Super 7 van is solid. The outside has more of a wash feel. It doesn't have the same sharp details that the NECA van had. That's not to say there isn't great paint detail. I think most of the great paint for the Super 7 van goes on the inside of the van, but overall it is not as good as the NECA van. So as far as paint is concerned, NECA still gets the win. Next up is articulation, and as far as vehicles are concerned, this is all of the moving pieces for the vehicle. And last time I gave the win to the Underground Arsenal van. Is the Super 7 that much better to supplant the Underground Arsenal van? I actually think it's really, really close, but I still think I gotta give the win to the Underground Arsenal van, mainly because I feel like all of the hinges, all of the joints are still better than the Super 7 van. Now, I do think the Super 7 is better than the NECA one. When I'm moving the pieces on the NECA van, I feel like I could break it at any second. I do not feel that way with the Super 7 van, but overall, I think the construction and all of the moving pieces of the Underground Arsenal van do outshine the Super 7 one. There's a lot more moving parts, and I think stronger engineering for those moving parts than what we see in the other two vans. So the win for articulation still goes to the Underground Arsenal van. All right, next up is accessories, and surprisingly, both the Underground Arsenal and the NECA van didn't have a ton of accessories. That is not the case with the Super 7 van. We have a whole bunch of accessories we've got uh, gas bombs we've got run over mausers we've got tool kits we've got real metal toe kits we've got plungers we've got pizza rims for all of your wheels and you have this super adorable party wagon new owners pack which has a bunch of stickers like a big foot sticker uh, some fun bumper stickers, but this one has to be my favorite. My other car is a party wagon. This one, I think, may be car worthy. Um, we've also got a uh, honk if you're hungry for pizza, which is a lot of fun. We've also got some battle damage stickers that you can put on your car, as well as your very own party wagon license. They also gave us a fun keychain so that you have a keychain for your car keys for the party wagon. And we also have a sticker sheet for your party wagon. Now, I really grimaced and, and cringed when I saw this at first. I really wanted the classic stickers from the original party wagon. I get why they probably couldn't do that, but for me personally, I'm not gonna apply these stickers to my van. I'm gonna hold out for somebody to actually recreate vintage style stickers for my party wagon. I hope my friend Jonathan from Nostalgia Unboxed can pull that off. He's done some really cool sticker sets for the NECA turtle van. So I'm gonna let him borrow my Super 7 party wagon to see if he can fit me with some awesome vintage Playmate style stickers for my party wagon. That being said, said it is an easy win for Super 7 here. So many accessories. So if you've been keeping tabs at home, we are tied. It is a deadlock. Underground Arsenal has two wins for cost and articulation. NECA has two wins for box art and paint application. And Super 7 has two wins for sculpt and accessories. So it is once again going to come down to the fun factor. And if you know me, if you know my preferences as far as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles go, it should be no shocker that the fun factor win will go to Super 7. And it's not just because it is a more vintage Playmate styled van, it's actually a really fun toy. From spinning pizza rims to tons of fun accessories, including your own owner's pack, the wheels have pizza treads on them for Pete's sake. So much of this van captures what makes TMNT awesome in my eyes. It's just that fun factor. It's the cowabunga factor. And if you just look at this big grinning face on this van, you can't help but say cowabunga. So really, you can't go wrong with any of of these vans is gonna come down to your personal preference, but how can I not give the fun factor to this Super 7 party wagon? It is just fun through and through from its accessories to its design, to its sculpt, to all of its functional features. It's just a ton of fun. And if I had to pick one turtle van to display in my collection, it would be Super 7's party wagon. So what do you think of my pick for winner of the turtle van wars? Do you think I'm crazy and an idiot? Or do you think I'm right? Or do you think I'm somewhere in between? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you would pick as the best party wagon. If you wanna keep watching, check out this video. And until next time, hasta luego and goodbye.